Now, it's hard to imagine what kind of toll this is taking on the family of the Iranian woman who faces execution. Well, under the sentence, she is to be buried up to her chest and then stoned. Well, CNN producer Mitra Mobasharat joins me now from CNN Centre. Mitra, you have actually spoken to the woman's son. What did, she say? what did he have to say, I should say? Well, Anna, he's extremely upset, as you can imagine. 22-year-old Sajjad spoke to me on the phone this afternoon from Tabriz, Iran, which is a city in northwestern Iran. He actually visited his mother this morning in the prison that she is being held in. Every Monday, he, him and his sister are actually able to go spend 15 minutes with her, and he does it every single week. He tells me it is so hard to see her behind this glass window, and she's just pleading to her son to please help her with her case and help the, the international community know about what is actually happening to his mother. Um, in terms of her health and her well-being, he tells me that she is healthy and she's being well-treated in the Tabriz prison that she's being held in, but in terms of her emotional health, it is not well. She is just awaiting this execution any day, and she doesn't know really what's going to happen with her. Now, he tells me that with the lawyer who has taken on this case, they have visited the capital Tehran six times over the past few months, pleading, trying to get a, a visit with a government official. He has told me he's had no luck. Um, the government tells them they will meet with him, but unfortunately he, that meeting has not happened. And now the reason why he wants to meet with the government is he has one message for the leaders of Iran. Let's take a listen to what he told me today about what he wants the leaders of the Islamic Republic to know. Dear Mr. Khamenei, Mr. Ahmadinejad, and Mr. Larajani, all I ask for is a letter. I want a letter from my dear mother. Please write one because she is innocent, 100% innocent. If you do not have respect for what I'm saying, just take a look at her file. You will see she is innocent. Now, Sajjad tells me that the government officials in the city of Tabriz at the prison that she's being held in has told him that if the leaders of Iran write a letter um, excusing and dismissing the ch these charges for his mother, she'll, she will be let go and uh, not stoned. Now, he tells me he's just waiting on that letter and that he wants the international community to know and to put pressure on the Islamic Republic. And that's really his message today. Anna? Yeah, Mitra, Ashtiani's uh, children are, are quite amazing. I mean, they are the ones that are behind this, uh, this campaign to, as you say, uh, get this um, international pressure so that something is done. Now, Ashtiani, she was flogged five years ago and in front of her children for this uh, alleged crime. Um, what did her son say about this? Because you can only imagine that this must be just carved into, into her children's minds. Of course, that was one of the first things that he wanted me to know. He wanted me to know about the day that he witnessed his mother lash 99 times. And what he wants everybody to know is she paid at this price with the 99 lashes for a crime that he still says she's completely innocent for doing. Now, he wants to know why is she now, why has this case now been reopened? He hasn't gotten a good reason, and she already got punished with these 99 lashes. Now, he said, actually, that the authorities in the, in the jail five years ago when she was flogged, they asked him to leave the room. They gave him the option, and he said he wanted to stay, he, that he did not want his mother to be alone when she experienced uh, this kind of pain, and that was the 99 lashes. Anna? All right. Uh, Mitra uh, Mobasharat, uh, we certainly uh, appreciate uh, that update on, on uh, what is um, a, a very distressing... Uh, situation. So let's uh, hope the international community can do something about this. Thank Andrew, you. Thank you. Thank you.